What's going on guys? It's Bergs back here for another one. Today, the final Timberwolf pouch, Timberwolf mint pouches. And before we go any further, let's get a look at the presentation. Pretty nice can, like the other redesigned cans, like the natural, which is right here. Um, nice blue. The wolf's on it because there, it's not a 99 cent one. Uh, stolen throw, disposal lid, um, TimberwolfSnuff.com. Timberwolf pouches around the side, pretty plain. Warning label on the side. On the bottom, uh, H116ABCDEFGH. Uh, August 11th, 2016, where a little bit expired. Uh, Pinkerton Tobacco Company LP, Owensboro, Kentucky, phone number, say only allowed in the U.S., 65% domestic, at least 65% domestic, 0.82 ounces, I don't know if I said that or not. So I didn't crack these, I have had them before, back in the day, um, but probably like three, four years ago. Uh, so I feel like they were pretty decent. Um, so, we'll see. Inside, you can see where the disposal lid is compressed down as usual. Hmm, smells like a pretty decent mint, really. Um, pretty bold, uh, not like extremely sweet, but nothing uh, too outrageous either mud jug where did it get to oh right here all right uh, I thought it was up top for some reason here's what the Timberwolf pouches look like kind of dark in spots and stuff like that so anyway that's that um, I have a big Word document on the computer. Yeah, I know that sounds pretty ridiculous, but of all the things that I've reviewed and need to review and all that and keep in track that way, um, and I've noticed when it comes to pouches, I'm pretty much done most of them. Um, I have not gotten Derringer, Decade, and Klondike's pouches. I never really see anything but Derringer. Um, Klondike, it doesn't seem like they sell around here, and I've never seen Decade in person, but they're all made by the same company. And then the three kayak pouches, I have yet to see them ever. Um, I did all Longhorn and uh, even Renegades. I did all the Skull, Copenhagen, Grizzly, etc., etc. Um, and this is the last one of the Timberwolf. Um, so, as far as pouches go, basically Derringer and some of the herbal ones left, and I have covered pouches. Um, and realistically, there's not that many, not a whole lot of dips left. If I, I mean, there's a fair amount on here, and a lot of stuff that I'm not really looking forward to. Kayak fine cut, like seriously, um, I can't. I can only imagine, but. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll be interesting, but uh, I'm sure it'll also, based on what's left, it'll be a lot of undesirable stuff left. I've kind of pushed off on the back burner. There's some interesting chews I have to get yet, um, and a lot of Stoker's bags, of course, but anyway, uh, enough about that. We talked about the date. It's a little out of date. So far, though, it does not seem to be have affected it because... Um, I'm getting a decent amount of flavor and moisture from them. Uh, obviously, packability and pinchability, it's pouches, you know what to expect there. Um, I said already, I had it once before, thought it was pretty good, I, you know, didn't, wasn't that memorable though. Price on it, uh, I've been mentioning this, if you go to a store that carries a lot of Pinkerton, they will probably have two prices. I have one price for the long cut and I have a price for the pouches that's about 50 cents or so less. Um, 
but you're, you're looking at like a little bit more than Longhorn and Kayak, but less than, probably less than Grizzly, but it's hard to say. Some places have Grizzly really cheap. Anyway, it's a budget dip, um, but not extreme budget at the same time. Uh, texture and burn, I really don't get burns. Um, and the texture of these are pretty good. Um, no real complaints. Taste. Um, pretty strong and not too sweet of a mint. Trying to think what it might be like. I don't know, Grizzly Mint pouches maybe? Uh, I feel like it's better than Grizzly Mint, but it still has a very tobacco-y taste to it, surprisingly. Um, but the mint that you do get is a half-decent mint. Uh, I'm sure Longhorn was pretty similar too. It's been a little bit, a little while since I've done that. Uh, mint pouches and Longhorn. It's not. It's nothing uh, too bad or too good, really. Just so so. Uh, the aftertaste not gonna be too bad. Just a a little stronger than some mints, but it's not too bad, really. Uh, shout outs. Full review. Shashmato uh, Makwahunal, the Arkansas Dipper, um, Wayside Lee eighty three. Patsy Carroll, and I believe that's it for this one. Number of subscribers, let's check it out. I believe it is 519 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. Uh, rating out of 10 on Timberwolf Mint Pouches gets a 6 out of 10. Very so-so, not really that bad not really anything to go out of your way for um probably not bad among budget brands um not uh not worth buying again for me there's just not a lot special about it just pretty plain old basic mint at a reasonable price um so yeah, not too much to say today. If you liked the video, like it, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Take care.